एवरी वन एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टू सेपरेबल इक्वेशन बाई यूजिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड इन दैट लेक्चर वी हैव फाउंड द टू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशंस इन विच वी ओनली नीड द वैल्यूज ऑफ इन्फिनटिजिमल्स एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी कैन कन्वर्ट आवर गिवन ओ डी टू पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लाइक वी कैन फाइंड आउट द चेंज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स एंड दीज टू ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन आर गिवन इन इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव now students now by using the equation number 5 and by using the values of infinitesimals i will show you that how we can convert the uh, like we can find the canonical variables okay now students uh, let's start the equations are now uh, this these are our transformation equations and this is the given ordinary differential equation that we need to convert into a separable equation and the infinitesimals associated with this ordinary differential equation are capital x is equal to x and capital y is equal to minus y now students say this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 Now, students, if we substitute the values of the infinitesimals in one and two, then one will imply x partial r by partial x minus y partial r by partial y is equal to zero. And in the similar way, the equation number two implies that x partial s by partial x minus y partial s by partial y is equals to one. Okay. Now, student, we can also write these two equations as x r x minus y r y is equal to zero, and also x s x minus y s y is equal to one. Now, students, by using the method of characteristics, by using the method of characteristics. you know that we can also write say this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 now we can write 3 as like equation number 3 implies dx by x is equal to dy is divided by minus y is equal to dr by 0 okay we can also write Uh, uh, like if we separate the first pair we will get dx divided by x is equal to dy divided by minus y and uh, dr is equal to 0 because if we uh, find its pair with this one then definitely zero will get multiply with this term and we will get dr is equal to 0 or let's say r is equal to some constant c1 okay now students from here we will get the value natural log of x is equal to minus natural log of y or you can say plus natural log of c2 okay now students from here if i take natural log of y on in this side then i will get natural log of x plus natural log of y is equal to ln c2 and uh, definitely uh, this is the property of a logarithm that if uh, the two values are adding together then we will multiply them and we will get ln c2 and from here if we take the exponential on both sides then we will get xy is equal to c2 now students by method of characteristics uh, we will write it in that form uh, like c1 is equal to say r of c2 and uh, c1 is equal to r that is equal to r of xy and this is the first equation now students in the similar way if we uh, do the same procedure uh, with our equation number 4 then we will get like the equation number 4 implies uh, x s x minus y s y is equal to 1 and we will write here dx divided by x is equal to dy divided by minus y and ds by 1 now students if we uh, solve the first two equations then in the similar way that we have done here we will get the value of uh, like say c3 is equal to xy and from here uh, if i use uh, like the first and the last one these two pairs dx by x is equal to ds by 1 then definitely i will get the value s is equal to ln x or um, say plus c4 and if we simplify it further then definitely we will get s is equal to natural log of x plus s of x y this is some function okay 
now students uh, we have find the two transformation equations like r and s now students here uh, capital r and capital x are arbitrary functions of r of their arguments now um, where capital r and capital s are arbitrary functions of their arguments now students from here if i take the value of like these are the two transformations that we get after substituting the infinitesimals uh, if we take the value of let's say capital r is equals to 1 then what we will get uh, we will get r is equal to xy and uh, in the similar way s is equal to uh, we can say the ln x okay these are the two values that i have taken taken from here because in this uh, transformation we can choose any value for r and s now students if we find here the value of x then definitely uh, if i take exponential on both sides i will get e raised to power s is equal to raised to power ln x and as you know these are both of them are entire derivative of each other then i will get x is equal to e raised to power s and in the similar way if i substitute the value of e raised to power s here so i will get the value of r is equal to e raised to power s times y and y is equal to r times e raised to power minus s okay so the value of s is x is equal to e raised to power s and the value of y is equal to r e raised to power minus s now students uh, we have to convert this uh, these two values in our original ordinary differential equation uh students as you know the given od is given by dy by dx is equal to y square minus y is divided by x minus 1 by x square uh so first of all we need to find the value of dy like we have to take its differential with respect to y and also the differential of x and after simplification we will get now students here i have taken the differential uh of the value of y that is y is equal to r e raised to power minus s and if we apply the product rule and simplify it further then we will get uh dy is equal to e raised to power minus s dr minus r e raised to power minus s ds in the similar way if we take the differential of the value of x then we will get this definitely we have according to our given ordinary differential equation we need to find dy by dx so i have found found here dy by dx is equal to this one and dy by dx is equal to y square minus y is divided by x and minus 1 by x square and i have substitute all the values of y and x into our original ordinary differential equation now students if we simplify it further then definitely at the end we have to find the value of ds by dr and that is equal to 1 by r square minus 1 now students uh, you can easily see that this is a separable equation okay uh separable equation uh, because we can write it also in this way ds is equal to 1 over r square minus 1 into dr and if we integrate uh, on both sides then we can use uh, the simple integration techniques and we can find out its answer now uh, students you can easily see that our or given ordinary differential equation was difficult to solve but uh, now uh, we have converted by it into uh, like a separable equation by using the change of variables and uh, it is easy to solve and after uh, simplification and finding its answer you can also substitute the values of uh, x and y back and you can uh, get your required answer like the value of r and s will give you the values in x and y uh, and so will uh, you will get your answer in x and y coordinates okay and this is all about this lecture students thank you so much